you guessed it, it is time for another market update. I do hope everyone is having a wonderful week so far and a great start to their July. So as always, we are going to look at the most recent data coming directly from DAT and we are going to look at the week of July 1st through July 7th. We will talk about national average rates, national regional rates, load to truck ratios, and of course fuel. And towards the end of this video, I'll give you a little bit of my two cents of what I believe is happening with this market and where I think it may be headed. Of course, these are just my opinions, so feel free to make your own assumptions. And if you don't know me, my name is Christina Booker. I've been a freight broker since 2018. I own a brokerage called Booker Transport Solutions. Feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn and say hello. I'm always happy to make new friends and I'm excited to present this data. All right, let's get started. So let's see what these van national spot rates are doing. We're gonna look at these on a rate per mile basis. So for May, we were at $2.02 .02 per mile. June jumped up to $2.06 per mile. And so far in July, we are at $2.10 per mile. So if you're predominantly running van freight, this is pretty good news for you. These rates have been consistently trending up since April. All right, so let's see what these flatbed rates are doing. So, and this is interesting to me because historically flatbed rates will go up during the summer months just because of the projects and the construction that's going on. But because we are in a freight recession and there's still a quite a bit of a surplus of capacity, they have not been doing what they were doing back in 2018 and 2019. All right, so you can see here starting in May, which was at $1.52 per mile, June went down to $2.51 per mile, and they stayed the same for July, which is again at $2.51 per mile. So moving on to reefers, uh, in May we were at $2.42 per mile, June at $2.44 per mile and a four cent increase to $2.48 per mile in July. This upward trajectory is pretty normal for reefers in the summertime. If you don't know already, July marks the peak of harvest all across the U.S. So it's normal to see that these rates will continue to go up as we are still in produce season. All right, guys, so that was it for the van, reefer, and flatbed national average rates. Now we are going to look at load to truck ratios. And before we do, let me give you a little bit of a background on what this means. So this is coming directly from the DAT load board posting. So this is number of postings on loads to trucks, right? So the higher the delta is between loads and trucks, most likely than not, there's going to be some sort of volatility on rates. There's going to be a demand for more trucks. So if you're prospecting, keep in mind that these load to truck ratios are going to differ depending on the region, depending on the city, and depending on the state. So if you're looking for areas that may have more demand, those load to truck ratios are really good to look at. All right, guys, let's look at the reefer load to truck ratio. So as you can see here on the screen, the ratios are as follows. We've got the week of June 23rd sitting at a ratio of 7.23 loads to trucks. We have week of June 30th at 8.72 loads to trucks. And this is interesting for the first week of July, we're at 5.53 loads to trucks. Moving on to the flatbed load to truck ratio. So you can see here for the week of June 23rd, the flatbed load to truck ratio was at 13. 13.14 for June 30th it was at 13.20 and July 7th came in at 8.92. Alrighty so what are the van load to truck ratios? So again for the week of June 23rd we were at 4.86 loads to trucks. For the week of June 30th, we were at 5.68 loads to trucks. And the first week of July came in at 3.40 loads to trucks. So there you have it. Um, now you can compare these load to truck ratios and see what the national average rates are doing. And that'll give you a pretty good indicator of where the market is at and where the market may be headed. Let's talk about regional rates. We're gonna do these on a rate per mile basis and we'll start with the van freight. So the lowest regional rates for vans can be found in the Northeast, which are currently at $1.76 per mile. Does not surprise me. 
followed by the Southwest, which is at $2.05 per mile. Definitely better than that $1.76, but still not that great. Then we've got the Southeast at $2.12 per mile, the Midwest following that, which is at $2.13 per mile, and the Pacific West leading with $2.14 per mile. So what does that tell you? Well, if you like running van freight and you're looking for those higher rate per mile rates, you may be needing to look at the West for some freight. Flatbed regional rates, although lower than most years, these rates are pretty typical for the summer months for the flatbed equipment. So per usual, the Pacific West is lowest, coming in at $2.24 per mile for flatbed equipment, followed by the Northeast, which is at $2.39 per mile. Then we have the Southwest, which is at $2.56 per mile, which let's be honest here is mostly freight coming out of Texas. And Midwest is higher coming in at $2.57 per mile. And as normal, the Southeast leading the charge here for flatbed equipment at $2.67 per mile. All right, so let's look at some reefer rates. We're gonna be looking at these on a regional basis and a rate per mile basis, uh, which are always interesting at the height of produce season. So not much reefer coming out of the Northeast, which is why it's sitting at $1.90 per mile. Then we jump to the Southwest, which is at $2.34 per mile. We've got the Midwest coming in at $2.48 per mile. The Southeast is at $2.50 Per mile and the west is coming in hot or should i say cold reefers at two dollars and 62 cents per mile fun fact so for produce season the height of july and its harvest would include crops like watermelons tomatoes and sweet corn just a little fun fact for you so if you're running any of those you may be a little bit busy right now all right, so let's look at the national diesel fuel rates. So over the last few weeks, they have been trending down, but let's see what they're doing now. And unfortunately, while we were hoping these trends would continue to go down, it looks like they did jump up from the previous weeks and we are now at $3.87 per mile for diesel fuel. So they did jump up, I'm sorry drivers. All right guys, so as promised, I would like to give you a little bit of my two cents of what I think this market is doing and what you could be doing as a freight broker in it. So the big question is, are we seeing a market turnaround? Are we seeing a market correction? I mean, we've been in this for about three years now. Is it finally happening? And although nobody really knows what's on the horizon and it's very hard to predict, um, what I believe is happening is very little to do with a true market correction, really everything to do with seasonality. So in order for our true market correction to happen, a lot of variables almost have to line up perfectly. And these variables include consumption, interest rates, how banks are feeling, how investors are feeling, and so on. So while I don't think a true market correction is actually happening right now, that doesn't mean that right now is not the perfect time to plant your seeds. And right now is not the perfect time to get out there and find opportunities to learn as much as you can, to make connections and to make relationships happen. So if you do that now, if you plant the seeds early, when that true market correction does happen, when those turbulences start to happen, you are already 10 steps ahead of your competition. So just my two cents, I would love to hear yours.